We'll check the latest for you now on the plane that crashed in a Detroit neighborhood last night and the 18 year old pilot at the controls lucky to be alive today. This happened while that pilot was pulling a banner high in the sky near the area of the fireworks. One person was hurt by a falling power line. 7 Action News reporter Jonathan Carlson is live on Detroit's east side with the latest for us on this. Jonathan. Joanne, good afternoon to you. Let me step out of the way to show you. The scene is pretty much clear here, except for some power lines that still remain on the ground where that plane went down. It was a mess last night. Let's get straight to that video. Here's the latest. I just got off the phone with the FAA. Their investigation is ongoing, and it'll take weeks to come to a conclusion. Until then, the pilot will keep his license that I'm told, and he can continue to fly as that investigation continues. I also talked with DPD. They're not planning any charges as of now. A 45-year-old woman remains in serious condition at Detroit Receiving Hospital after this crash. Police say the woman was getting out of her car when she was hit by a live wire down during the plane's impact. The plane, a small Cessna, ran out of gas, according to officials. The 18-year-old pilot, uninjured. The plane was towing a banner over Monday night's fireworks show along the Detroit River, the city says. Action News has learned through records the same plane made an emergency landing back in 2011 while flying another banner. Back here live, the pilot's ability to fly, obviously under investigation, under that FAA investigation, as well as the uh, quality uh, of that aircraft. I'm told the aircraft has been taken to nearby city airport where it is being examined as we speak. As we get more information on this, we will, of course, bring it to you live at 4 and 5 o'clock. For now, we're live on the east side. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Jonathan, thank you for that report.